Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Amit and in today's video we're going to be talking about the price that I paid for the second hair transplant that I got from Turkey. For those that don't know, I got a hair transplant last year from Istanbul, Turkey from Vera Clinic and I had 6,100 grafts extracted from my donor area and placed onto my hairline and my mid scalp. At the time they couldn't finish up my crown so that was left empty for the whole year but I finally went back recently for a second hair transplant to get that crown covered and I used 4,000 grams to cover that area up. If you've been following my channel, you already know how much I paid for my first hair transplant. I've made a whole video about that. But in today's video, I'm just gonna go straight up and tell you about my second hair transplant and that cost. I won't make you wait till the end of the video to find out because I know your time is valuable, but do stick around till the end of the video if you want to see what's the total cost of my first hair transplant and the second hair transplant combined together and whether it was really worth spending that amount of money to go to Istanbul, Turkey in the first place. Before I start anything, I'm going to convert everything to USD to make it easier for all my viewers. I feel like converting to USD is probably the most generic and easy way to judge how much everything is. So the final prices and everything else is going to be in USD, but I will be pointing out what was in euros at the clinic itself. Because I was going back for a second hair transplant at the same clinic, they gave me a 10% discount off of my full package price. So that means I paid 2,545 euros, which is equivalent to 2,810 USD. I did ask them if this was something that they were given to me specifically because I was filming them essentially at my second visit. However, they said that it was not the case. It is usually given to people who do come back after a year or so for a second hair transplant with them. So I didn't feel that special, unfortunately. But hey, it's good to know you do kind of get a discount if you do go back for a second hair transplant with them. I do want to talk about how much I paid for the first hair transplant because I think that's important to know that the second hair transplant was very similar to that but slightly cheaper. For the first hair transplant, I was offered two different types of packages. One was the Diamond Sapphire FUE package and the other was the Fast Recovery package. As you can see from the screen here, the price difference was about 350 euros. At the time, I thought if I'm going to do this, I'm going to go all out. I might as well just do the Fast Recovery package because why not? And also the major differences between the two was the oxycure therapy sessions that was offered in the fast package. If you don't know what oxycure therapy is, they basically make you sit inside an oxygen chamber while you have to breathe in and out oxygen from a gas mask for about 90 minutes. This is to help promote recovery from your hair transplant, from the newly transplanted hairs. I've read up that it's proven to work, but I think you have to do a longer period of sessions in order for you to see the maximum efforts of it. But the two sessions that they do give you is enough for the transplanted hairs at that point in time. So to me, I thought this was a better package deal. So I took the more expensive one of 2,850 euros, which was equivalent to 3,150 USD. There are two things that were included in this package as well. The first one was my hotel stay, it was completely free of charge for my four days and three nights there. And finally, the transport was all covered from the airport to the hotel and to the clinic and vice versa. It was completely covered by them, so I didn't have to worry about getting a taxi or anything like that. This pricing was also quoted to me in October of 2021, which was still right in the middle of COVID. So now I understand their pricings are much more different. From the last I heard, it was about 3,250 euros. So the, my pricing was very different compared to how it is now. Now for the cost of flights, I know this is pretty subjective, but depending on where you are, the flight costs can vary from super cheap to super expensive. For my case was a little complicated. At the time I was in Dubai and I was flying to Istanbul, Turkey. That cost me a total of 450 USD together with the check-in bag. My flight home after Turkey was also not going back to Dubai, but it was actually going back to Singapore because at the time my family was there, so I wanted to go see them. But that pricing was 550 USD with the check-in bag as well. So the total price of the flights just from my first hair transplant was 1,000 USD. Now at the clinic, they do offer you supplements after your hair transplant. There was a bunch of different supplements, but I only took three at the time. I took the Herrick Spray, which is about 40 euros. I took a two month supply of the GF shampoo, which was 90 euros. And I took one kit of the GF serum, which consisted of four bottles, which is about a four month supply. And that costed 150 euros. So the total of the supplements was 280 euros and that's equivalent to 310 USD. So the total of all of that of my first hair transplant was 4,460 USD. Now taking out the flights, cause again, it's very subjective depending on who you are, where you're from. If you just take away the flight costs, so you're only paying for the procedure and the supplements, I paid a total of 3,460 USD. 
Now for the second hair transplant, as I mentioned before, I did get a discount for the main package of the procedure, but for flights this time, I definitely took a much cheaper flight because I was doing a round trip from London as that's where I'm staying right now. And that flight cost was about 330 USD with a check-in bag. For the supplements this time around, I was a little smart about it because I knew exactly what they offered the previous time. I knew what I wanted to pick this time. So I still got the hair spray, which is again 40 euros. I also did buy a box of finasteride this time, uh, only because I ran out over here and I figured I might as well pick it up. It wasn't that too costly, it was about 25 euros. I picked up the GF Serum kit as well, which is another 150 euros. That one's a little pricey, but I thought it was pretty useful for, for the time being of using it for at least four months. So that made the most sense to me. I didn't pick up this shampoo because believe it or not, I still had the shampoo left over from the last time. I didn't really use so much of it, surprisingly. And also there are so many other different shampoos out there that you can be using, but I figured since I had it, I can use it for the first month or two to be able to use it on the newly transplanted hairs for now. One good thing to know is that they haven't changed their prices from the last time I was there last year for the supplement. So that's, that's good to know. The, at least inflation hasn't gotten to everything. <laughs> All right, so the total of the second hair transplant cost together with the supplements and the flights is 3,375 USD. Now if I take away the flights, the price is only 3,045 USD. So the combined total of my first hair transplant and second hair transplant together with my flights and supplements, the total cost is $7,835. Now again, if I take away the flights, because again, it's very subjective, depending on who you are and where you're from, the total cost that I paid for it without the flight cost is $6,505. Now after that, I think the real question is, is it still worth it to go all the way to Istanbul, Turkey if you're paying that amount of money? My answer is still 100% yes. If I had to compare the pricing to the pricings of places like the US or Canada or even the UK for that matter, it still would be 100% more worth going to Istanbul, Turkey to get this done. Sure, you know, there's definitely a trade-off in what you're going to get in Turkey compared to what you're going to get maybe at a place in the US or in the UK. But if you have the budget to do so, sure, go for it. I, I was quoted once in the US about $15,000 just to get one hair transplant done. And that too was not the full coverage. So it's really up to you on what your budget is and what you are more comfortable doing. I understand there's a stigma about going to Turkey and getting it done because it is quite daunting, but that's why I make these videos to hopefully get the most transparency out of it for you guys and maybe it won't be that scary. So hopefully it does give you a little insight of where you wanna spend your money or what is the most important to you and getting it done. So I hope this video has given you a little more clarity on the cost of getting a hair transplant in Istanbul, Turkey. It is a little subjective if you include the flight costs, as I said, but if you live nearby or even if it's not that big of a deal to be traveling to Turkey, it shouldn't even really be counted in your costs, in your total cost price. If this video was helpful to you in any way and you found some value in it, do consider liking it and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos as much as I can about my hair transplant as well as my second hair transplant, the journey that I'm gonna go through. If you are interested in watching me to get a full head of hair, definitely follow along. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.